<laughs> wonder if there's any fish in there. Oh my God. That is amazing. Wow, they are tearing it up. <laughs> I love it. Oh, I better start fishing. Welcome to Port Canaveral. Wow. As soon as it hit the water. That is awesome. That is just pure chaos. I love it. I love you bluefish and jacks. <laughs> This is 15 pound line with a lighter rod. And dude, they fight so good on this. <laughs> I love it. Dude, it literally, I didn't even get a chance to twitch it. It landed in this fish's mouth. Nice Jack, I love you. Jackie Jack Jack. Hey, you don't have to get all the hooks. Let's check. What a beautiful morning. I came out early and I was just relaxing. We had such a crazy day yesterday. It was incredible. Caught like 20, 25 of these guys. And then Mike got a really nice red in here. And I'm throwing a Yozuri bone colored lure. It's uh, It didn't come with a split ring, so I put a split ring on it and then using that snap swivel. It's uh, got the best walk the dog action I've ever seen in my life. Pretty incredible. Wow. Oh, <laughs> that Osprey tried to get. Woo! <laughs> so, as you'll hear in these next audio clips, the audio is awful. I don't know if you guys had caught my van build video from a few months back, but I was just using an iPhone. It was windy out. I promised I would get a new mic, and I did. So, I got like a $230 road mic. Um, everyone recommended it highly. Uh, all the YouTubers said it was the best one for phones, uh, GoPros, all that, uh, podcasting and stuff. So I got it, looked awesome, put the nice windsock on it. That was like 30 bucks. And I was like, yes, I'm going to nail this audio. As you can tell from the next two clips, I did not nail the audio. So I apologize about that. Still, this video, shoot, I've probably been sitting on this for a month. Um, wanting to put it out but i haven't had time to i have had time to uh edit it i've just been working on the 66 camper van so if you can bear with the audio uh the fishing clips are pretty good and there'll be another video at port canaveral where i believe i caught six or eight uh jacks and bluefish in forecasts so anyway pretty cool one on each hook so that video hopefully will be coming out maybe today or tomorrow we'll see all right thanks for hanging in there I assume it's a jack. I don't know. Man, that is so good. Holy shit. Nice, man. That is such a good fight. It is chaos up there with those birds. It's amazing. Woohoo! I love Jack. Scotch, scotch, scotch. Scotchity, scotch, scotch.
Thanks, buddy. Okay, good cast. Let's see. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Dude, this is so exciting. It's definitely more fun on this lighter gear. That's a problem. Chaos. <laughs> Dude, that vibe's doing you right. It's got good vibes. Uh-uh, I've seen a lot of trout and uh, snook popping up by the rocks. Because when they're flipping out of the water, they're long and skinny. I hope it's a nice snook. Oh, dude, yeah. Here, I better cast. I better cast, too. Yes, nice blue. Nice blue. I don't know what it is, but it's good size. I better get one that's it. Don't wrap me on the spot. Some nice act. Aerobatics for a blue. What are you doing, buddy? You're going to town. Right, I'll let you off. Man, this dude is fired up. Thanks, buddy. It's so hard to keep up with, all, with where all the fish are. There's birds flying everywhere and fish popping everywhere. Oh my God, look at that school. Oh my God. Oh, that is insane. <laughs> oh my God, it's so beautiful. What a nice sunrise too. And there were no mosquitoes out this morning. This is why I love this big pole. Look at that big lure. They're busting it. I missed two. Come on, baby. Get it. Get it. Here we go. <laughs> oh my God. There they are. That's the main chaotic school. Sheer chaos. Jackie Jack Jack. That's why I love Jacks. Bluefish.
Oh my gosh, it is chaos. <laughs> I'm going to fish a little less and film a little more. Just try to get right in the middle of all the fray. Just to see how crazy it is. Man, the birds, it's like a smorgasbord. They're just going to town. <laughs> Missed it. Get it, get it. He's hitting it. Come on, baby, there we go. There we go. That was worth that long cast. <laughs> All right. That was awesome. <laughs> cast all the way across the, and down there there's it's just going off this is so gorgeous man what a fun time so much fun and as fun as it is fighting these guys on the little poles with the 15 20 pound line man this one cast the furthest with that three ounce lure and then i've got 80 pound leader with a 60 pound main line and is casting a couple football fields. Oh my gosh, that fish is pulling so hard. I have to stay out of the channel for the bridge tender guy so he doesn't have to come out and yell at me. <clears throat> Daiwa on these Saltiga poles put a triangle like foam grip here and it's a real dense foam. And man, is it comfortable for a horse in these fish. Man, that is pulling so hard. What a stud little guy. They're so little, but they're so strong. Like he's burying that right into my lady bits. Thanks, buddy. You are awesome. I'll get you off as soon as I can. Meanwhile, there's chaos in front of me. All right, buddy, I'm trying to get you, sorry. Here we go. You didn't have to eat all the hooks. Thanks. Watch, Osprey again. Oh, <laughs> he's trying to get my mullet. Oh, buddy, don't get hooked. You are too cool. Woo, <laughs> that's two now. Here he comes back. So where all that chaos was at dark, this is the exact same spot 45 minutes later. So if you're there and you're itching to catch a fish and you're trying to document for YouTube, go ahead and do that because it'll make a nice memory. But then realize that that switch can turn off and those fish can be gone. There were millions of mullet in here. I, it's funny, as I say that, there's one trapped in my paddle drive. They kept jumping in the boat as fish were chasing them. And now look, it's just like a beautiful, pristine lake with no fish, or very few. But, uh, so, make hay while the sun's shining. So back out here at Port Canaveral, at the inlet, I kept getting bumped, and I got something. Might be a stingray. It's holding in the same area close to the bottom. Not sure what it is, but it's pulling really good. I'm going to try to leave this pull out being lazy, but... This fish is pulled hard enough where I better get it in. Yeah, that's got to be a stinger. It's just right on the bottom. I'm in 25 feet of water. Oh, it's a big old gaff catfish. That is a pig. Oh my God, I hate you. <laughs> they're cool looking, but they're so slimy and they're hard to unhook too. So. That was the mystery fish. It wasn't the big red fish I was hoping for, a stupid gaff catfish, but it's got to eat. Pack of red. So I'm an idiot, and I decided to cram 16 fishing poles, three mountain bikes, kayak, paddleboards, snowboards, skateboards into where I live, which is a camper van. 
So then I was driving today in Orlando and I had left Port Canaveral this morning and I kept smelling dead fish. And I was talking to my mom and I'm like, I know I'm not smelling dead fish from Orlando. So we got a stowaway on the Hobie because this morning I had um, probably 30 fish jump in the kayak that I had to pick up and throw out. And I even had a jack jump in the kayak, like a four or five pound jack that I just threw out because it was so chaotic this morning with all the feeding frenzy. So anyway, I'm driving along and this morning I was having problems with my pedal drive for the first time. It didn't want to turn. It was really like hard to engage in this piece because it clips in there. This piece will move forward and that was really messing up. And anyway, so I was like, what could it be? And then I kept smelling that fish and I looked in there and that guy was in there along with three other ones. So that's where the gears are for the pedal drive here. It's hard to see, but ah, here, let me try to get this headlamp off. Boy, these fish stink. So there we go. So see the gearing for the pedal drive? Look, there's another mullet crammed in there. Poor little guy. So all day, it's hard to turn the pedal drive, the 360 part. And because fish are getting ground up in my gearing, there was actually four fish in there. So this guy and two others I threw out beside before I decided to make a video saying, as much as I love the 360 Hobie Drive, be very careful because fish can get lodged in there if you're kayaking in schools of like half a million mullet with jacks chasing them and redfish and snook and bluefish. So anyway, pretty funky monkey. And I tried taking these bolts off. I was gonna try to take it apart, but then you look and it's a pretty complex mechanism with the gearing there. And then this pipe comes in, that's where the cables feed in. So I was like, eh, I don't wanna start taking all that stuff apart and maybe have it malfunction. So, uh, Anyway, I had mullet in my pedal drive. That explains why my house, my camper van, smells like a mullet factory. <laughs>